Hey, welcome back. Today is April 19th, Monday, and on this post, I'll be telling you about the overall crypto markets, which includes Bitcoin dominance and Bitcoin price action, and see how they could potentially affect the overall altcoin markets. Also going to be talking about how the Bitcoin pullback has affected the overall altcoin markets for the past couple of days before diving into Curve Dow token, CRV, USD, and see what is going on in here. I'll be telling you about the bullish and bearish case scenarios for today, as well as the short-term price prediction on this market, according to what I'm seeing on the charts. Before I begin today, if you guys are enjoying this content, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video, as I'll be keeping updated on the latest crypto setups on my watch list, regardless if it's a good day or a bad day. If you want to support me and don't have a Weibo brokerage account, you guys can use my referral link down below. They're still giving away two free stocks after you sign up for an account and deposit 100 US dollars. And I'll also get a referral bonus if you guys sign up under me. Please also read my full disclaimer below. I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. I am purely sharing my own speculation and opinions on this market. I cannot trade the future and you should always do your own due diligence before trading or investing in this market as extremely risky and volatile. If you have any questions or comments, please do only leave them in the comment section below. But I'll try my best to get to as many of them as possible. Now see what's going on in this market first. Most importantly, I do take a look into Bitcoin dominance. Tells me where the money could be trending into. Would it be Bitcoin, altcoins, or neither? Right now, we do have Bitcoin dominance up about 0.15%. This breaks down to Bitcoin price action right now up very slightly, bouncing back from earlier's pullback, now up about 0.05%. Total altcoin market cap now bouncing back slower than that of Bitcoin, right now down about 0.3%. Now, earlier, there was a Bitcoin pullback there where I did see total altcoin market cap pulling back by more than that of Bitcoins, okay? And now both of them are bouncing back. However, total altcoin market cap bouncing back slower than Bitcoin. Now, this would still be what I call it the downside of Bitcoin dominance trending upwards because total altcoin market cap pulled back by more than that of Bitcoins. I... I emphasize usually Bitcoin dominance trend downwards. That's generally speaking better for the altcoins on both the upside and downside. Because conversely speaking, if Bitcoin dominance was trending downwards, the downside of that, I will usually see total altcoin market cap pulling back by less than that of Bitcoins if Bitcoin pulls back. Bitcoin dominance here, we have been in the falling watch pattern, which is generally a bullish pattern. Okay, until we get a decisive weekly candle close below this bottom trend line here to the point where I cannot adjust it anymore to fit a falling watch pattern, I would still say that we are still in a falling watch pattern. If Bitcoin dominance actually continues breaking down and breaks down from this falling watch pattern, that's more ideal for the altcoins as opposed to if it actually breaks back upwards. Bitcoin here on the weekly time frame and monthly time frame, as I've been saying, there has been some bearish signals on these two higher time frames. Most notably, there has been bearish divergence playing out here with three consecutive higher highs on the price action chart, with three consecutive lower highs on the RSI. That's classic bearish divergence there. Monthly time frame, do take a look at that. We are in overbought territory with bearish divergence as well. Not something I'll lose track of. Now let's take a look on the daily time frame and the three day time frame to see what has happened for the past couple of days here. Past couple of days, we have been in the rising watch pattern for Bitcoin price action here, and this is the daily time frame. Price action did break down from that rising watch pattern, went as far down as almost about uh, 51.5K there, almost. Right now, Price action did get support from that 3-day 21MA, which I do expect it to be pretty good support because it has not been touched for since about October 2020 here. Okay, so I do expect it to be pretty good support. So that's immediate key support right now. Immediate key resistance will be the daily 50MA. So earlier there was a pullback because price action did hit this key resistance. So right now, price action for Bitcoin is in between these, uh, this very small gap between the daily 50 MA and the 3-day 21 MA. Now, if Bitcoin pulls back at any time, it could still have a bearish effect on the altcoins. 
that bearish effect would be greater if Bitcoin dominance is trending higher. Do you also want to take a look into the past three days price action here or past four days here? So one, two, three, four on Bitcoin daily chart here. Let's do also take a look at the past three days as well. So one, two, three, four. But right now, Bitcoin is bouncing back faster than the altcoins. Okay, so this is why I never discount Bitcoin. And I always talk about it first, because even though if we have a good setup on the altcoins, Bitcoin pullbacks could still rock the setup. Let's go over to CRV. Let's take a look from the monthly time frame down to the daily, which I consider to be, to be macro time frames and see if we have any overbought RSI readings or possible bearish divergence scenarios. Monthly time frame here, we don't have a reading, so let's move down. Weekly time frame here, we're currently about 50, so not in overbought territory here. Three day time frame, we're currently about 54. If the price action wants to make a higher high here, it does need to beat the last high RSI reading of over 69 here to negate bearish divergence. Daily time frame. We're currently about 48. Very similar thing could be said about negating bearish divergence on here on the daily time frame if the price action was to make a higher high than this previous one. Let's go over to the weekly time frame where I did point out a bigger cup and handle pattern here. Okay, the measure target was about seven dollars and five cents, about there approximately. Okay, seven dollars and six cents, seven dollars and five cents approximately. Measure target. Now, measure targets are theoretical approximate targets only. May actually be different in real life price action, more or less. I did mention the key supports and resistances from my last post, so I would not go over them again. Do take a look into my last post. Since last time, price action did try to break out of the pattern. Okay, the neckline of this pattern is about three dollars and seventy cents. Now, I did say that the safer signal I am looking for to tell me that this price action has indeed broken out of this pattern and could sustain a breakout will be seeing a weekly candle close above the neckline of the $3.70 and staying closed above that $3.70 neck, neckline, okay? Price action did break out, did try to break out with the price action going as far as about $4.70 here. However, I did say weekly candle close is a safer signal because we have not had any weekly candle closes above the $3.70 neckline here since the formation of this pattern, okay? So back since back in August 2020, okay? Because we did have, we have had three-day candle closes since the formation of the pattern at the beginning of the pattern there. Daily candles as well. So the weekly time frame is the earliest time frame where we have had not had any weekly candle closes above the pattern. Now let's take a look into some of the key supports and resistances again that's relevant, immediately relevant to this price action right now since the price action has broken back into the pattern due to that unsuccessful breakout there. So price action has broken back below the daily 21 MA. The $3.15 fit level area. Now it's being supported by that daily 50 MA, the white line here. Let's also take a look into what's, what else is beneath the daily 50 MA. The $2.50 fit level area, which has supported the price action due to that Bitcoin drop there, okay, from about two days ago. If the $2.50 fit level area is broken, that would also take into consideration of breaking the 3-day 21MA as well, which is right above that $2.50 FIB level area. So if the $2.50 FIB level area is broken, I'll be looking at the weekly 21MA, which is right under $2.10 right now. Now let's take a look into um, the bullish and bearish case scenarios here. Bullish case scenario, price action continues breaking back above some of these key resistances again. Like I said, first one would be about the $3.15 FIB level area, immediately followed up by the daily 21 MA from this snapshot here. Then the next one up would be again the $3.70 neckline. As I have said, a weekly candle close would be the safer signal 
to say that this would be the breakout of this pattern and that could possibly sustain the breakout of this pattern to go towards its measure targets. Do take a look into my last post on CRV on what the key resistances are on the bigger time frames from my last post after the breakout, as those could be points of rejection. This is the bullish case scenario. Bearish case scenario, price action continues breaking support. The next key level of support here is the daily 50MA. If we get, if we actually break that support with the daily candle close, the next key support here will be about the three, uh, $2.50 fit level area excuse me the three day 21 ma is actually right above that so daily 50 ma three day 21 ma those are very close to each other and then the two dollars and 50 cents fit level area very tight uh range there okay with the key supports there if finally the price action actually breaks below all these major supports the next one down would be the weekly 21 MA, currently right under $2.10 there, and seeing if that holds. Now, these are my bullish and bearish case scenarios for today. Let me know if you found it helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Let me know your agreements, disagreements, feedback. I love to hear them. Hope you match your risk carefully. And if you would like to see any more of my most recently uploaded videos on YouTube, you guys can check out my links up here on YouTube. See you next time.